box opening of uh, what I'm at least assuming <clears throat> is the FFF TCG 2017 annual. Um, I actually don't know. It says uh, the Fulfillment Center <clears throat> out of Tennessee. So I could be feeling real, real silly if this is even that annual. I'm just recording this for no reason. Let's, uh, I'm going to take a guess because I'm not expecting anything else. Packed pretty well. Oh, this is definitely what it is. <clears throat> All right. So first things we got invoice. Um, three point zero four pounds weight. Doesn't say how much you paid for or anything like that. So uh, let's just get to it. All right. Now I will be opening mine. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people aren't opening theirs. Um, so here's the front cover. Pretty nice. Um, looking pretty decent. Pretty bare, but, it, you know, it's fine. I would have liked, I think, if, let's see, do I have a FFTCG card up here somewhere? I'm sure I have one laying around. Yeah, I don't know. So it's just the, it's just the opposite of this. I would have liked to see this side actually have the black side and have it be both ways but it looks nice so far all right let's open this some of you guys probably think this is hypocrisy opening this thing i'm open it's catchy too yeah maybe that's too sketchy <clears throat> let's see there we go I was able just to use my thumb to brush brush across it like this, and the plastic came right off. Material feels nice though, so far. I'm not really a collector. I collect foils. Um, no, I'm not a. I wouldn't call myself like a Final Fantasy collector. Um, <clears throat> I collect foils so that I can play with them in tournaments. Um, I don't, I don't mind opening it so much. All right. So immediately you'll see that this is two different sheets. This comes, um, the promos come on a completely different sheet. As you can see, it is the, uh, the warrior of light with a horizontal orientation. This looks nice. Um, let's see how I open this without damaging the cards. I'm assuming that you can open it. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to, but I was able to peel this apart. There you go. <clears throat> oh, here you are. Um, in the seven different languages, it looks like. These are pretty nice. This looks good. All right, I'm excited about those. Card's terrible, but all right. So let's open up the book. Oh, it is black on the back. There you go. I like it a lot more. Yes, I like that. Well designed. All right, let's open up and have a look. First few pages. This is interesting. You have people sign this, I guess. I taught yearbook for a little bit, so this reminds me a little bit of a yearbook. All right, the book archives, <clears throat> archives all of the cards released for Final Fantasy Training Card Game between 2016 and 17, along with the worldwide tournament and event results. Give table of contents, card gallery. Well, first thing you notice is that the actual pages are hard quality. The, the pictures are pretty bad quality. I don't know if you can tell from this or not, but... Um, yeah, you can't really tell from the camera. These are <clears throat> these pages. They feel nice. The actual um, print quality seems poor, and not maybe not even almost like they're not even three hundred DPI. I mean, I can't tell obviously. Um, let's see if I hold a card up to see the right size. Yeah, they're not. 
but not to scale, which makes sense, although you could have easily fit these to scale. Maybe they didn't want to do that because people would cut them out and do proxies or something. Um, I've heard the categories could be wrong, um, but that doesn't really bother me so much. Mostly in it for the quality, so um, let's just look through here. Yeah, these are pretty. The pages, when I say it's poor quality, the page is really nice. This, the paper feels good. The actual print image just seems to be pretty poor and, and pretty dark, actually. Um, much darker than I imagine. I have lights on in the room to kind of light up everything. Um, if I were to put like a Leviathan, I mean, just as a comparison. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, if you hold these up to it, they don't hold any kind of flame to it. They're much better quality. Um, let's see. All right, so after you get to Opus 1, I would expect some sort of recap of Opus 1 or something. Yeah, I mean, you can tell just by looking at this cloud how dark it is. <clears throat> well, uh, Final Fantasy starter set. It does include the starter sets. That's cool. I like that. Includes what each starter deck has um, for starter cards. And then it jumps right into Opus 2. Again, we see pretty dark and pretty bad quality. Um, overall, if I was getting this as a collector, I guess if you open, if you don't open it, it's it looks nice when you don't open it. Um, if you're getting it as a... F because you want the foil cards, which is the entire reason I got it. These look really great. These are... Ah, they're falling out. Okay. Um, whatever. They look good. Um, but if you're getting it as a fan, you want this to sit on your coffee table. Um, just You should hope no one ever opens it. Just, just basically, you could just scroll through FF decks and see this. But in higher resolution. All right. I'm, I'm already bored of looking through that. All right. <clears throat> let's skip... Starter sets. Let's see where the pictures are and stories. Opus 4. What? Okay. Um, event reports. These pictures are also pretty dark. Um, so, alright. <clears throat> Coming from, you know, a yearbook teacher, there's just a lot of unused space here. Um... I'll open it to where you guys can see it. Um, and the pictures are dark. There's no borders to them. There's nothing going on here. There's nothing that screams Final Fantasy to me, or TCG for that matter. Um, this is really cool information, though. I, I do like a bit of the information here. Um, yeah, all these pictures are real dark. <clears throat> you see Nathan there, but... You see Joe. And then... Uh, from the creators. All right. A little about Kageyama. Shota, Morito, Ichimon, Matsuyuma, and Index. But no pictures of the creators, which is interesting. Oh, wait. Maybe. No, that's just the Asian team. Um, yeah, no pictures of the creators. No pictures of the process. Um, and then an index of the cards, if you want to look up the cards. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Another place for people to sign. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, the foils are really cool. I dropped one down here somewhere. Um, the foils are cool. I will be adding these to the, uh, Binder. It's a collective foil set of everything. Um, it's also cool that you don't have to buy three books to get a foil set. So if you are collecting a, a you know a foil set of every card, you just buy one and you'll get all seven. Um, they're these are really good quality. I mean that's what you expect from the the TCG cards themselves. Although they do feel. Oh wow, they do feel different. Oh, maybe I, I don't want to be. Um, <clears throat> if, if any of you guys watch this and you, and you feel like 
Oh, this is a thaumaturge I ripped. Um, these, let me know what you think about the difference. I feel like these are a lot thinner, but they can't be, right? They're probably used at the same exact printer. So it might just be uh, me thinking that, uh, but they do feel a little thinner. Um, so if, if you're a card collector or someone who likes to play with foils and wants to collect all the foils like I do, I think that it's a fine investment, I suppose. It'll be hard to get money out of these if I were to ever resell my collection um, without the book and trying to convince someone that the book is worth something, um, I guess, opened would be difficult. Uh, again, the quality outside is amazing, astonishing. I like how simple it is out here. Um, part of what makes Final Fantasy great is the ease of understanding of how it works. That being said, once you open it up, it kind of loses all of its luster. Um, well, actually, when you immediately open up, I do like this. This looks nice. <clears throat> but it, you just... Right away, you just... I, I would love to see, you know, thank you for your dedication to the fans, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, a letter from Kageyama, um, a letter from Square Enix, someone at Square Enix. I mean, just open it up, straight into Opus 1, and then it's just really terrible quality on these these actual pages. Um, they, they look like I printed them out at a middle school um, or like your office, your 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 average uh, restaurant printer, or whatever. And when I went to Kinko's and just copied a an image. Um, again, the quality of the paper is really good. Um, overall, I would not buy a 2018 annual. I certainly wouldn't buy a 2019 annual. Um, for those that are, you know, I think that for the players that made it into the pictures. I mean, there's barely any, really, though. For, like, the ten players that made it into these pictures, it's certainly worth having because you have a documentation of, of your experience, which is... That part is pretty cool. Um, but, again, there's no cool layout. There's no interface. There's no... I mean, even the, 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 the numbers of the pages aren't even in... in uh, correct format as you'd expect from Final Fantasy um, Roman numerals um, yeah I don't know I don't I'm not overly negative because again like uh, these are really really nice quality um, it's cool to be able to have these I'd probably rate this product if I were rating it I, I'd rate if I were doing it individually um, it came without any serious problems mine has a few like a little bit of an indenture here. Here is not the best. It looks a little bit... The corner got a little bent up here. Um, and in the back also, right here. You might not be able to tell from this camera view. But um, but the packaging came in really well. I'd give the packaging an A. I liked it. Um, having to rip off this thing in order to get to the f cards made me a little bit nervous. But it worked out fine. Um, and I would give these cards definitely like an S like this, this one in like Chinese is, is amazing. This one in Japanese is sick. Um, looks like you get, I'm not great with languages, but German, French, Spanish, maybe Italian. Um, I'm not sure about that. That's, well, that would be my guess looking at the arrangement. Um, and of course the English, which I dropped in the floor somewhere over there. Um, that the book itself again i would probably get like a d a d minus maybe even uh everything beyond the first everything beyond this i would change everything beyond this i would change this is great simplicity of this this is great i would change everything past that um minus this i would still keep these red pages for like you to have friends and stuff sign but again not very many pictures no pictures of the creators um it does go into detail here about some stuff um it's cool to see uh, rb's name in here it's super cool to see kelsey's name in here um maybe that's just the coolest part actually of the actual of the inside of the book that's the coolest part and if, if you're kelsey or 
or Richie, you're definitely going to want to own one of these. Um, or if you're if you're Joe, or certainly if you're Toby, um, you're going to want to own this. Um, but I, if you haven't ordered one yet, I, my recommendation is to not order one. I will probably end up giving this away on on some stream or giving it away at the reunion or something. I'm not attached to it by any means. Um, that's just not, not all that, it's not all that great. Uh, these, however, I'm holding on to. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, sign off for the comments.